Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Dreadnoughts. This will be my final video before I take my little vacation. And, uh, so it's going to be a special one. It's going to be a little bit longer than average. I intend to get four to five games in, uh, with all of the vehicles that I enjoy. So the Ballista, the Antaro, the Furia, the Nav, and the Orcus. If I could play all five of them fully for one game each, I will finish this video. But, before I get to that, I have a little bit of a shout-out to make. I know it's a little bit early to do this, but uh, it's kind of a two-way thing. Uh, I recently met a friend of mine who, or recently learned that a friend of mine was starting a YouTube channel. Um, well, had started. Uh, I will provide a link down in the description if I remember. Of course, you guys can skip past this if you don't want to see the shout-out or if you don't want to know about it. But, uh, Fandom Trash 0409. They do speed paint art. They do art contests for all different communities, mainly based around video games. And, uh, their YouTube channel. Uh, obviously, like me, starting up, growing, working their way uh, towards getting a decent... Uh, community, but if you'd like to go check them out, I will have a link in the description, and uh, it'd be a pleasure to know I could aid a friend. But in any case, that's enough uh, promotion and self-promotion for the moment. Let's jump right into this. Start up with the uh, Ballista, because I like this thing the most, and then I'm going to go to the Antaro in the middle of this game, or maybe the Cherubinog. I want to play all, three, all six of my main uh, vehicles, but I don't know what I'm going to be able to do, what my timing is going to be, and of course, how good our games go. And uh, by the way, if you haven't seen or you didn't notice, uh, I'm not naming the first 10 videos of each new game or new series that I do, but uh, that's why I've been holding off on my 10th War Thunder Ground Forces video, because that will be my first named video. I'm just going to have the name, which is going to be about the subject matter, and then uh, War Thunder Ground Forces. Uh, going to get rid of the audio tag. Going to get rid of the number. Uh, I'll keep the number for later. I'll just I'll write it down somewhere, but just uh, so I can tell how many I've done. But uh, we're going to be personalizing more videos. We're going to start doing more challenges, more systems, uh, more weapon systems, obviously. But... Uh, I'll see if you guys enjoy it, and if you do, please, uh, by all means, comment that you enjoyed. Uh, give me any of your feedback. I'd be absolutely overjoyed to have it. Okay. You guys know the ballista already. Have I pulled out the cherubinog for you guys? I believe I have, but uh, I'm never sure. Doesn't matter. What upgrades do we have for this? We have 2,000 of those. Yeah, we don't have enough to upgrade anything. But, uh, could I upgrade this? No. These things have specialty upgrades, like slow and steady. Uh, which I think, I think I might enjoy using. If I ever get up there. But I just needed a better nuclear missile for this. I'll probably get a scatter gun or a Taurus missile eventually. Maybe even a plasma broadside. It seems like it does a ton of damage, but, uh, yeah. The range is, uh, that's uh, 10,000 meters? Yeah, 10,000 meters versus 2,000 meters, 24,000 meters, so a quarter of the range almost. Not the best at all. Looks like the servers are a little empty. Two, th two minutes, 30 seconds to get into a game. We're not even in one yet, that's unfortunate. Did I get that uh, torpedo with this? Yep. Brand new. Where's that torpedo situated? Ah, is that it? Over there? Yep, that looks like the torpedo bay. Or could be uh, up here. Let's take a look, see where it is. There we go. That is it. Alright. So I have plenty of different things I could be picking. So those are Tempest missiles, and then this big Goliath torpedo. Which, uh, I can't see it. I wish I could see the warhead. I suppose that's just a launching platform. Just cycles it out and then launches it off. But in any case, that is uh, manually detonatable. 
or requires that you manually detonate. Which honestly, I don't like that system of manual detonation because it requires me to be locked onto a single target or onto a single group of targets when I would rather be focusing on a whole uh, range of targets. And I'm not going to play the Dola today because I don't like it because it's slow and its guns don't have a lot of traverse and its missiles suck. And I didn't upgrade it because I don't feel like it and I don't like it. There we go, finally. Okay, at least I was I was literally out of things to say. Good. Ragu Haven, Conquest. It's a control point map, so let's play the Cherubinog out first. Let's play our good old heavy tank version of a... This is not, this is not World of Tanks. Good old heavy ship out first. Of course, with our nuke on this big open map. Should be great. You gonna kick us out? Or are you gonna let me in? Come on. Come on. There we go. Aw, oh, damn it. Why did it have to be the Dola? Alright. We're accelerating ourselves. There's another Dola all the way over there. Alright, we're gonna send the ballistic cannons away. Alright, not bad. That's great, that's good spread. Those cannons, those cannons do work. Torpedoes away. Alright, this is two support ships, I don't know why they're out here without any uh, support. Probably because they can't die, oh my gosh, wow, what am I getting hit by? Oh, there's a Dola behind me. Damn. All right, well, I didn't see him at all. That was my bad. Oh, and I got shot by a heavy Tesla cannon. All right, let's see. I want to play the Cherubinog. I would have survived that scenario, at least. Nukes would have taken care of them good and proper. Nukes still can, actually. If I can get uh, good vantage there. There's the, there's the vantage point I wanted. Let them have it. Prepping for the nuke. And down she goes. Vultures are, locked. Vultures are online and locking. We got a much slower rate of fire with these guns, but uh, we do have a lot of accuracy and those missiles are coming down hot and heavy. He's firing at something long range, he's diving. Tractor beam? From where? Alright, fine. Auto guns. Oh my gosh. So many of them. Wow. Okay. Well... We held some territory, and we managed to take a ton of hits off those guys. I wish I'd launched my nuke there, darn it. Oh, and this guy still took me out, huh? Well, turns out the nuke and the missiles weren't enough. Not surprising. I mean, he is a full ship after all. Not a Corvette or something tiny. And the nuke's more for saturation fire. Like what I hope to do right now. Yeah, systems drained, systems drained, I don't care. Let me out of here and drop that nuke now. Where's my nuke? Negative, Captain. Nuke base rearming. Ah, crap. I fired, I had launched it too late, didn't I? Or, well, I suppose he was technically out of range. I don't know what exactly that warfare bonus is. Like, I have no idea what the point is. Or what it does, but we got this guy on lock. Alright. They're going down. Alright, well. They had the beginning foot on us. That's unfortunate. That was a bad game. Bad game. Well performed, though, Cherubinog. This thing can take some severe punch.
punishment. Which is what I like in ta in uh, play in <sighs> in ships like this, tanks, planes. I'm really excited to play uh, anything but this game and Slay the Spire because those are the ones I've been neglecting. So those are the ones I need to get closer to 10 videos so I can start personalizing them and uh, actually making dis ma making some headway with uh, individual videos. Doesn't matter. Keep going. All right, shall we take out the Nov? I say we take out the Nov. Let's take out the Nov. All right. Nav beacon is speeding up. All right, Nov. Let's see it. Nuclear missile, armor amplifier, anti-laser missiles. This is the pinnacle of design right here. Except it's not. All right, give me a second. Sorry, I had to adjust my headset. Alright. Ixion, Conquest, same exact thing. Control points. Uh, dreadnoughts are going to be very powerful here. Somebody's already got the Nav. Let's see if we can't do the same. Yeah, there's two Dreadnoughts already. Let's hope our allies pick something. Yeah, there we go. Tactical Cruiser. Destroyer, Destroyer. Anybody want to give me a Corvette or an Artillery Cruiser? If we could get Tactical Cruiser, Corvette, Artillery Cruiser, that'd be perfect. Corvette, Tactical Cruiser, three Dreadnoughts. So we have one of each and a Dreadnought and two Destroyers. That is all that we need. That's a well-rounded team right there. Especially on a capture map where high health matters. I would trade one of the Destroyers for a uh, support ship, but that's just because I'm a tank who needs a lot of healing. Alright. Let's move, move, move. Let's not lag, lag, lag. All right. We're going to A. Pulling around here. Going straight to A. All right. We should be able to spot everything at uh, max range over here. That's not good. What is that? Can I just say for once that this game has beautiful beautiful set pieces like all of this area is so gorgeous okay now we drop the nuke come on baby drop 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 there we go Chasing us. Our fleet is securing control point beta. Armor plating up. No, uh, I've been lured into a trap. He fired a little prematurely, so we're gonna punish him for his transgressions here. Gosh, there's two of them and one of me. I can't do this. Come on. Missiles away, missiles away, missiles away. Ah, can't get them off in time. Ah, I couldn't get them off in time. Alright, well. Good job. Auto guns. Good job. Wow, what is this thing? Oh, it's another Corvette. Corvettes are fast, man. And they get real dangerous when you're somebody like me who's uh, not maneuverable at all. Gonna keep going? Yeah, I'm not gonna nuke that one ship. That one I am going to use my missiles on, however. Yeah, these are finding their target. All well and good. That's gonna be perfect. Dead. He's dead. Missile going away. Or, well, nuke going away. Come on, baby. Give me that sweet, sweet music. 
sound of a nuclear bomb going off is sweet music to my ears in this game. I'm gonna drop and reverse. Get out of the way of enemy fire while keeping our sights on this guy. He's taken out. Ow, 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 ow. There's an artillery cruiser ahead of us. Vultures away. Vultures away behind cover. We're gonna slow down and heal ourselves. Let our territory be held here. Turn our way towards Alpha. Rise a little bit, reload. Never want to enter battle with an empty magazine. Or with a nearly empty magazine. There we go. Missiles finding their targets. All of their targets. Oh, come on. Get the edge. Just figure out where it's supposed to be already. There we go. A, yeah, that's an artillery cruiser. It's coming in. I can't take missile breakers or anything, but I think I can just mess them up with these. He's done. That was a good shot. Rest in peace, artillery cruiser. That wasn't very skillful. We just kind of sat there. And he uh, let us wail on him for a little bit. No artillery cruiser is designed to sustain that kind of damage. Alright. What's it to be? Nukes. Everything. Just send it all. I don't want to scare them off, but I do want to drop this nuke. And have it strike. There we go. There we go. Missiles being destroyed. Alright, anything firing at us from below? We have an enemy destroyer. Or enemy uh, dreadnought. Looks like another version of me. Alright, well, we got some damage on him. We gotta rise past this little obstacle here. Let's accelerate. Maneuver into our position. No touch there, no touch. Uh, missile's going to be ready by the time we engage. He's gonna be healed up. We got striking armor amplifier and missiles away. I don't know what of those are going where, but it's kind of a waste of our, well. There he is. Got him. Forgot an assist on him. Good shots. Good shots, team. Let's get to A. Gotta rise. Rise and not accelerate for a little bit. Now we gotta go. Go, 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 go. Turn, you fat beast. There we go. Closed in. Control point being secured. We're locked on, Captain. Capping. Firing up. Reloading. Man, that thing is booking it. Booking it. Vultures are locked, ready to launch. Launching, we've secured the control. Vulture missiles away. was that? Warheads, oh. locked Warheads locked on. Anti-missiles. Tank all the damage that he has here. Hang on, we're gonna recharge the grid. I've got to be stronger than this guy, don't I? Done, done, done. Five player kill streak. Sweet. This is one of the better games I've played. Come on, come on, come on. Turn, 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 baby, turn. Reload. See, you guys realize now why I love the Nov so much. 
you're just so powerful at almost every range. If we get dived on, there's a problem, but like, that rarely happens at this tier. Because uh, Corvettes are terrible. The enemy is capturing control point beta. He doesn't have spawn protection dawn, does he? Uh oh. Doesn't matter, I'm gonna have to hit my uh, exo shell in order to even deal with this guy. Come on, baby. I'll go head to head with you. Yeah, that's right. I'm a tank. You can't out tank me. Alright, there he goes. He's up above us. Above and behind, at least. Missile away. Dropping, there's something behind us firing at us. It's another dreadnought. He didn't expect us to drop. Good job then. Nuke. Alright. Turning around to face. Rising. Laying guns on. Guns laid on. Guns well laid, man. Guns well laid. Exo shell activated. Vultures away. Anti missiles away. Firing at all targets. Oh, we're gonna get messed up here. Well, we gave our fleet a clear location for every single one of them, and we were on a five. Five to six kill streak. Man. You think you guys can pull your own weight? I'm just kidding. Impressive game. Really impressive game. Good job, everyone. We're gonna keep going. Alright, that's not good. They took over A again the second I died. Because without a tank, the team fails. But, uh, let's just rise. Oh, there we go. Time will be the assassin for us. Perfect game. Perfect game. I couldn't have asked for anything better. Well-placed nuclear bombs. Vulture missiles coming up exactly when we needed them each time. And, uh... Long-range damage coming in from those. What, no? Okay, you guys must... You guys better have done real well to get better than me. Let's see that five kill streak, huh? Let's see. Most territory, most damage, most damage with modules of team. How did I not get best players? Scoreboard. Oh, wow. Eight kills, two deaths. Seven kills. How did this guy get such a high score? He died three times and killed one person. He must have just, I guess, captured the most points, but I captured points. All right, never mind. I'm a tank. It's not my job to uh, look good. It's just my job to get hit and punched and used, uh, used cruelly, as it were. Sweet counter battery. Acknowledge. All right. What'll it be? The Orcus? I think the Orcus is in. That'll be our last one, maybe. I really hate this Stola, but we're not playing with it right now. Orcus. My little healer. This thing's real effective. Really effective. Now, the healers at higher tiers get, uh, because I shot half battery. They get things, yeah, like these Tesla coil pods. They're really strong. You saw them before I got attacked by them, but these, like, they're Tesla turrets, and these can actually deal a lot of damage. All of these extra stuff, I guess. Sorry, headphones again. Alright. What's the Gravis? Excuse me? But we have auto repair, auto repair, blast pulse, what does this do? Oh, that just damages nearby enemies. Well, damn. That's not bad. 
I have a ton of stuff for this thing. Tesla turrets? I'm so doing that. I'm so doing that. Alright. And, uh, auto repair too, I guess I can. Might as well. Auto repair basically just makes you heal yourself really fast. And I like the beam amplifier more than the Tesla coil pod. Just my own personal opinion. Well, it would be nice if I could get this Ceres. What's your uh, upgrade tree? Oh, Drain Mine Mark III, Flechette Half Battery, Stasis Beam, Tractor Beam Pod, Light Machine Guns III, Tesla pro Turrets, Repair Pod. I like the Repair Pod a lot. It's something to work around. Overclocking, Armored Lockdown. Increased damage resistance by 95%. Depletes energy and stops movement. So you'd be locked in place. So you, what you do is you drop uh, repair, you drop uh, repair auto beams, repair pod, go with like Tesla club pods. You set all those up and then you use armored lockdown to just make yourself a, a porcupine sort of. Every time that somebody comes at you to attack, they get zapped, shot, and machine gun to crap while you have 95% extra damage resistance. And then hopefully your teammates who are coiling around you as a healer, obviously, will... Uh, oh, it's a kill match. Alright, well, let's stick with somebody who can deal some damage then. Which means a Dreadnought or a Battleship. Destroyer, not a Battleship. Destroyer. Though they do look more like battleships than destroyers. But that doesn't matter. That's not the important part. Rings of Saturn Knight. Nacht. Alright. Orcus. We're gonna run dual healers, I guess. Which is not so good since we only have... Yeah, we have two Dreadnoughts. Might as well do one-on-one. -on -one. Excuse my guy sneeze. Okay, I didn't have to sneeze. Don't you hate that? Right. What else do we have? We have a Furia. Is that other Orcus? We have one artillery cruiser. Alright, into battle we go. Now, judging by how good that last game went, I'm probably going to have this be my last game, if it goes well. Uh, and it's going to go well, because I have no intention of uh, not having it go well, of course. As I should. So let's just stick with these guys. Looks like the healers all have the same idea. Follow the fat guys. I'll let you have the same. So you guys are basically the same ship then. Which is fine. Which is just fine. I'm going to stick to this guy though. Yeah, the other orca is going to go with him. So I'm going to go with this guy. Thing fire off a nuke? Can it? I don't know. Oh, this guy's charging in. You maniac. I got you. I got you. I got you. Man, I believe in you. Matter of fact, I'm gonna use the auto beams because I I doubly believe in you. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna take some hits for you. I'm gonna get right in front of you. The orca is well exactly like its name. It's maneuverable like a whale, like a graceful whale. Whales are not graceful. Some whales. This guy up here. Aye, Captain. Activated. I will not let you die. Commencing you shall down. not die on my account. On my good Christian Minecraft server. I should slap my 
myself for making that joke. Gonna be a negative, Captain. Cool down in progress. No, it isn't. Oh, crap, crap, crap. We're out, we're out, we're out. We're out. We're out, boys, we're out. BTFU. BTFU. Auto repairs to town. We're gonna just flub like a fish for a second. Alright. Drop, drop, drop. Back up. Back way the hell up. Alright, we're good. We're out of the way of any... You're getting healed. Heal. Heal, damn you, heal. Captain, we're gaining ground out there. Firing. Yeah, we're great we're gaining ground because we're healing the tanks. Oh, field engineer. Yeah, I've repaired like seven thousand damage, you don't say. Oh, how close do I have to be for the Tesla turrets to work? See, I can still be healed a little more. Thank you. All vessels. Yeah, there we go. Enemy contact. This is an enemy healer. This is how healers fight each other. Just like that. Ship is damaged, oh my absolute god, run away. Ow. 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 This guy literally can't die. He's got all the healers on him. Heal, damn you, heal. Come on. This guy can cannot die. He cannot die. We've healed thousands of damage right now. And we are not going away. You, sir. You, sir, have become a, a, a pocket heal. You've become a pocket healing tank. Of course we have. So we have an unbeatable combo right here. Oh crap. No. Heal him, heal him, heal him. Alright, auto repair. Captain, we're gaining ground out there. Firing up. Reconstructing. You heard the captain. Systems drain, Captain. Commencing cooldown. I wonder what this guy's thinking right now. Like he literally has the whole of the team's healing strength on him. Does he even need to work? He just needs to sit and fire, basically. Whereas I need to get out of the way of this guy. Let's not be stupid. Let's rise and heal everyone. God, our tank died. That's just a shame. Not like we can do anything about it. I can't cure death. But this amplified beam pretty much can. It can prevent death. <laughs> for almost everything. Alright, back with you, buddy. We're back with you to make your push. Push. Use this to heal the healer. Yeah, 
right there as our allies going and killing themselves. The heels were too good. They had to go commit suicide. What is this suicidal healer doing? And why am I following this madman? This battle's almost ours, but they still got a chance. Oh my we god, what are you doing? Nope, nope, I'm dipping. I'm dipping. I'm dipping. I'm dipping. Enemy warheads locked on our I'm dipping. Dip, 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 I got a tank bonus as a healer. Oh, stop dying. Yeah, you guys just pushed into enemy territory without healers. I, I, you, can you really blame us for dying? We have no destroyers at all. Everything's in artillery, tactical, or... Corvettes. Corvettes are unhelpful. Corvettes are annoying. Well, that was a pretty good game in the Orca. There's a lot of healing done. I'll take a look at that healing in a minute, as compared with our ally, our allied Orca. Hey, there we go. That's what you get for being a healer. You get your face on the credit screen. Power Rangers 1. Great, yeah. Because we all know how to pick the best, uh, oh my gosh. Yeah, most weapon damage for a tactical cruiser, so we beat out our opponent. And then we got uh, the scoreboard. Oh man, we were on, we were on top, on top for our team at least. Uh, this guy had not nearly as much healing. Wow, doesn't surprise me because we also dealt damage. But in any case, I am going to go buy the orca a present, some new something. Maybe we'll see. What do you got? the orcas. I keep calling it the orca, don't I? Well, it moves like a whale, it talks like a whale, it's an orca, in my opinion. Alright, Gravis, nah, energy generator, auto beams. Auto beams too would be nice, I'm gonna get that. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, equip that baby. There we go. I don't really need the Tesla turrets, I don't know why, why they're there, they have such limited range. The coil pods might be helpful if I want to actually deal damage. But thus far, I've literally had to engage minimal combat vessels with the Orcas. You can mostly just sit back, relax, and do your job as a healer. Which is great. Except when you get uh, singled out. But anyway, that's enough of that for now. I'm going to miss you guys. I'm going to miss uploading daily. And I'm going to be absolutely giddy with glee to come back and play new games and start making my own individual videos that aren't supposed to draw people in, like the first ten like intro videos for War Thunder and then post scriptum. Uh, post scriptum's probably going to start out with names, uh, obviously, just because it's not something that I did before I had audio. But we'll see how that goes and how the naming goes. But in any case, uh, I hope you guys all check for that shout-out in the description below. Uh, if you enjoy that kind of thing, feel free to sub. And I hope you have a wonderful day.